Okay, I'm going to show you how to group uh, items so we can do like a front and a back to a postcard and show you how to do a watermark as well. So right now I have my front already created out uh, and I'm ready to go in and create a back to this thing. So um, if I come down and uh, choose group, this little uh, icon down here, create new, will give me a group here. And I'm just going to name this front. So front, I'm going to drag that up to the top and then I'm actually going to just take everything and drop it. Click, hold and drag and put them there. You can put them one by one. Uh, I just clicked on the bottom one, held down shift, clicked on the top one and then just drag it into that folder. So it indents it. Uh, if I click on the little folder or the little arrow, it'll hide that. And I'm just going to actually go in and click on the eyeball to hide that so I have basically a new working space to work with. So I'm going to start out with doing a watermark. So I'm going to click on a brand new layer, name this, and I'm just going to put in a white, um, just a white backdrop on there. Uh, I'm going to use that same image, so I'm going to duplicate that by dragging it down there. And there's other ways to duplicate too. And then to make that uh, a watermark on my watermark layer, I'll just take down the opacity to however far I want to make that on there. So that'll give me just a simple little watermark on there just with kind of an overlay. Uh, a couple of things to put on uh, the back of this postcard that I'm trying to design. Uh, I'll just grab the shapes tool and grab the line. Um, I want a little bit thicker. I've got four. I'll just kind of lay out quickly. I want to have black up here. So just lay out that, and drop those, whatever those lines are. It's still white. Click on there and choose black. And maybe some lines over here for my address. And I want to um, just duplicate that. So if I just grab, I could keep drawing them. But I'm just going to grab the move tool, hold down the alt key and just kind of click and drag to get those. That way they're all the same length and everything. Whoops. I did something totally different. So make sure that little ghost icon is behind there. So that'll get my address lines. They're all separate layers right now. Uh, if I want to merge those select them and you could do a click it uh, merge whoops uh, merge those layers on there so they're just one uh, and then maybe just a little stamp so in the shapes again custom shapes and I'm gonna go up and grab this little guy here if you're not seeing these just click on the little arrow choose all and append and that'll get you those so I'll throw in a little stamp, little icon thing. Maybe create some text down here. Created by uh, and stick that maybe at the bottom somewhere. I don't need it to be that big. Some postcards have where that area is at too. So that'll get you uh, the back of your postcard. And then we can just group those two. Click on the little folder. Give that a group, name this one back, and then just click, hold down shift to click all those and just put those uh, into those spots. So now I have two folders, one with the back and one with the front on there. And that's how you do a back and a front. And then the last step, if you want to save these as separate files, you would open up this one, do a file save as, and save it as uh, back back postcard postcard back card back and uh, I'll just save it to the desktop mm. click OK that'll just save that look and then if I click on my front hide that and close that do a file save as and now I can just do a front front and I'll just save it as a JPEG as well on there. Okay, so that allows you to save them a couple different times uh, so you can have those different images 
So now I've got the one image that just has my front on it. And then I also have my back on here somewhere too. Um, but that's how you do uh, groups in.